Black to Zero game. In the previous videos, we successfully installed Aero and changed its default configuration to improve the user experience. It is about time we take a look at it. The features I'm going to show you now, I will mention them often in the following videos. Indeed, I am aware I repeat myself a lot. However, I consider them so important, I think they deserve to be the first thing you see on Aero. Ok, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to open a terminal, open an AC term terminal with our alias, and log in to Aero. Go to our Aero folder, here we have our CL file. We type CL, and there we have it. Ok, the first thing you should know about Aero is that we usually speak about two concepts. The first one is packages, like the ones we have here. Packages are designed for a given scientific threshold and they contain the task for such purpose. For example, if we type long slit, we go to the long slit package, as you can see here, which has all these tags which have been designed for the reduction of long slit spectra, such as identify, uh, explode, response, all of them. Effectively, these tags are the commands we are going to use for the scientific treatment we need to apply. Let's try an example. Here, in my home folder, I have a flat.fits file we saw in the previous video, and we can open it with the image plot task. This is a very simple task which only needs the name of the file we want to open. To run this command, we type enter. There you have it. Let's move this a bit. Here on the left, we have a display window in which we can see the shape of our data. Many of the tasks we find in IR will open such a window. To leave this window, we press Q. And we go back to the terminal. Now, the first warning about IRA is that it loves abbreviations. For example, let's clear this window. And now, let's go to another package, app extract, which has the apple function we'll see soon. Now, if we want to go back to long slip, we can just press long, for example. Similarly, if we press apex, we go back to app extract. This behavior can be applied to all the IRA inputs. For example, let's go back to our image plot function. And here, let's try a very simple window display command. This can be run using the column. Here, you will see your input. And now let's type mxx10. And we press R to redraw our plot. As you might have guessed, this command change the number of ticks on the x. Now let's do the same for the y axis. But now let's use an abbreviation, NYT10. Okay, we press R to redraw. There you have it. We also increase the number of ticks, but with an abbreviation. So in this warning, what I want is to emphasize how careful you must be while writing commands so you don't get lost on what you want to do. Try first, at least, to type full names. The second thing I want you to know about IRA, you might have noticed already, is that we don't close windows, we quit them. What does this mean? IRA is designed with an activation window system. You must click on a given window to activate it. For example, let's go back to the image plot.txt file. Here we have it. The image was not activated until the point. I click it on it. Now I activate this window, the terminal. I cannot use the column command. I need to activate it first, and now I can use the column command. So to leave these windows, we press Q. And now we can input new commands at the terminal. If by some mistake you close one of these windows, there is an escape command you can use. Let's try it. Here, we activate the display windows and we close it. Now, as you can see, the image plot task is running, but we cannot do anything. So, to leave this unpleasant situation, you need to type a column for some time. There you have it. And now you can quit. 
The next thing you should be aware is that there are several mechanisms in IAF you can use to get some help on the functions you are trying to use. The first one is to type help and the name of the function you want information about. Here you have it for the case of image plot. You can use these shortcuts for moving along this script. You press D for downhub. You have here a definition of all the flags. You have the list of keys which you can use in the display window. You have a list of the column commands. And finally, at the end of the, of the scripts, for all the tasks, you will find some examples. For the most complex tasks, you will have more examples. But in the case of image plot, this one is enough. And if you scroll down until the end, you will leave the script and return to the terminal. If you want help within the display window, here we are, you can use the question mark. Here you have a, a list of the, the keys you can use on the display window. And if you press enter or D as well, you have the column command with a small description. To leave the script, you press Q again, twice. Since we are still in the display window, to leave it, you press Q. Finally, it's, it's very useful to learn about the task default values. You can do that by typing epi and the name of the function you want to learn about. There you have it. Package, plot, task, image plot. Here you have all the flags. The task within the brackets are those which don't require any kind of default input from the user, while those without the brackets need some kind of input. You can change the default values by typing a new one, and you can leave this window by typing column here. This will save the values. The final warning I have for you is that IRF can be and sometimes unwilling, so patient is your best companion for spectral reaction. However, in the case you are getting some bizarre results from your tasks, I advise you to run every now and then the FLTR command. This command will flash the process cache and will delete some memory which is sorting into bad values. Finally, to leave IRA, you need to log out. Okay, this is all I wanted to tell you about IRA. In the next videos, we'll be actually doing some spectral reduction. So Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.